Hey, welcome to How We Got Here Genealogy Happy Hour on this Robbie Burns Day. For all of you who do not know Robbie Burns, uh, we'll be talking a little bit about him later. Um, right now, I just want to introduce myself and welcome you all here. If you just want to give a shout out in the chat and let me know where you're, you're watching from, that would be great. <clears throat> so I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, a great week, and I hope you're working on your family tree. You've been able to get some work in uh, on the past uh, the past week, or I guess the past two weeks since last uh, time I went live. <clears throat> so today is Robbie Burns Day. Now, um, who is Robert Burns? He was a famous, a famous Scottish um, poet and writer. He's quite an interesting character. Um, you'll find statues of him all over the world, and wherever Scotsmen um, move to, they seem to erect statues. He's the the I want to say that the the poet the the of, of Scotland he's when people talk about Scottish poetry they're usually talking about Robbie Burns um Robbie Burns nights are usually a big thing um, in a lot of Scottish communities and Scottish societies they would uh, have a, a a dinner which usually started with the um, haggis being piped in and then somebody, giving Robert Burns's famous address to the haggis. So I'm just going to start with that. Um, I'm going to start with that here and we're going to, I'm just going to double check one thing. I haven't done this before with, okay, perfect. So I'm going to add this here and we're going to watch together. Um, now, this is the address to the haggis as was performed by Gareth Morrison. And I, I'm hoping the audio comes through. I haven't done this before on the software I'm using, so let's, let's hope so.
So that was the traditional address of the haggis, to the haggis. Um, so since I am a genealogy channel, I'm, I'm going to talk about Robert Burns in terms of genealogy. We're going to look at a little bit of his family, and then we're going to look at a little bit of um, the Scottish genealogy in general. <clears throat> so I don't know if you... Uh, you caught my last video on where I was talking about using Wikitree. And now, so I'm going to be uh, using Wikitree to just go through his genealogy because they have a really nice Wikitree page on Robert Burns. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so we're going at add him there actually i'm going to do this switch where i have that put just so i can see it a little better um no it means nothing to you that's all my back end so let me uh sh share this now so this is what a, a wiki tree biography and profile looks like um is quite a bit of detail on Robbie Burns and uh, so we're just gonna talk a little bit about this from a genealogical perspective um, so on this it has um, who his parents were and um, they were William Bur Burns and Agnes Brown uh, it has his brothers listed and it has his wife listed and then it has his children now not only was robert burns a prolific poet um but he was a pro prolific prolific reproducer um he's known to have numbered a number of ch illegitimate children um o over the years <clears throat> So this is a, a normal wiki profile at the top there. It's what you'd expect to see for if you've never used Wikitree before. This is kind of the information you get. Um, it's, it's really nice. Gives a summary here of his family at the top. So he has a quite well written out um, biography. And you'll notice there's a lot of images on of him uh, of, and different things. Um, so tells a little bit about his house and um, his early upbringing. The, the wonderful thing with Wikitree is, uh, unlike Wikipedia, that is just a biography, that they actually try to dig in and link the full um, the full family history part of it. So we'll talk about the house that his, his father had purchased, and then it talks about him as a poet. And again, here there's some um, different images that they have of him. Um, and it talks about his legacy. Now, this is a, he has quite a nice mausoleum where he was buried. As I said, there's monuments throughout the world for him wherever scottish people tread they seem to put um statues of robert burns <clears throat> so now this is a an interesting fact a little in fact is that president abraham lincoln who himself penned a few verses much admired the writings of robert burns he attended that at night 1859 burns night celebration of springfield's concert hall marking the 100th anniversary of the birth of Scotland's bard. One newspaper of the day reported that the toast offered on this occasion were most appropriate and were responded to by some of the most talented men of the state, among whom were Abraham Lincoln. This would be a, a tradition that you would respond to the toast and, and people would go get up and they would speak. Not something as much you see nowadays other than at weddings. Um, so when they built this, they also have a nice timeline here. 
um, when he was born and sort of um, his life. It's really worth looking. It's really easy to find. Search Robert Burns. Um, and he's, I think, pretty much the first one that comes up. Um, and it talks about um, different things that he has, has written and, and done. Now, this is probably his most famous was a Tam o Shanter. Now, this is a, a about a fellow that finds himself coming home from the pub and he stumbles upon um, a witch's meeting there. They're having a, a meeting at a graveyard um, with Satan himself, apparently. Um, there's a, a lot of different renditions of this you can find on the, the internet. Um, one of my favorite is, um, just because he's one of my favorite history YouTubers, um, it's Bruce Fumey from Scotland History Tours. In fact, this past weekend, he, he did a, a great recording of this where he actually visited um, the site, uh, including the, the graveyard where these witches were supposed to have met Tom, um, Tom O'Shanter. Uh, it's it's really wor worth, uh, uh, Tam O'Shanter, it's really worth watching. Um, that's Scottish History Tours. If you look them up on YouTube, um, Bruce Fumey is the host of that channel. Uh, he comes up with a new video. I don't know how he does it. Every every Saturday morning, I wake up and there's a notice of a video waiting from him for me, and everyone is engaging. Um, <clears throat> and he delivers on a great promise to talk, tell people if they enjoy the history of the Scottish people and places and events. He has a story for you. Um, so this is a gr great little thing. And then it has a, a lot of different things here. I mentioned he was a poet. He was a bard. Um, you, you'll see it has some great sources. Uh, the legacy of uh, Robert Burns uh, from the National Archives of Scotland. Uh, a whole bunch of different things there. And you can actually look at the descendants uh, and follow his family tree down. This is one of the, my favorite parts about Wiki Tree. Um, and now this is, I have this, every, you can find this different ways. Um, this is the easiest way just because I have an extension that does it. Uh, if I click on here, I can actually see my connections. Now, I want to remind you that these are connections, not relations. Um, the difference is it's trying to find the um the quickest route between you and a person. Um, so if you're from a place like Prince of Rhode Island or, or um, Cape Breton, you've probably been the people who've tried to figure out who, how you're related to, and they'll get to some point and they'll say, ah, so your so-and-so's wife's sister's husband. Yes. Ah, well, and that's how they can figure out who you are. The same sort of thing. Um, kind of like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Um, so I, I really like this. It can, it's it's going to tell me my connections. And it actually shows me because um, I do have a, a couple of extensions. It gives me this on every profile of any person. If I have a connection to them, it tells me how far. So it says 16 degrees which means that I only need to count 16, to go through 16 people to get to them. Uh, so this little comes down here and lets you do it. You can also get to that by going to your, um, there, there's a, um, <clears throat> let me see on him, there should be hit under tree apps. Um, you should find it in there. So. But I'm going to do this because it's really quick. And it brings up this and it shows me my connections. Um, so let's just see. I have to actually switch the windows here. So um, we're going to just one second. We're going to 
add the new screen. There we go. If I do it this way, it should keep it. Yeah. So there's the new screen. Um, and again, it shows the 16 connections. So it goes from his mother to her brother, to his daughter, to her daughter, to her husband. Um, and you'll notice it changes colors as it sort of changes actual families. So really, I'm just, if you want to look at it this way, I'm one family away from them. Um, it's only this family here that would be not blood related to my, to my, to me, but they would be related, um, some other way. So again, it goes through it. It goes to her daughter, her husband, his mother, her father, his, his, the, his brother, his daughter, his, the, her daughter, her daughter, and then, oh, then her husband. Now this is when it's relative of mine. So this goes to his brother. This is my great grandfather. So his brother is sort of the connection through this. Um, so his brother's wife is eventually connected to Levi Diamond, who um, is married to Anne Pickering, who is blood relation of Robert Burns. It's kind of an, a neat thing. It's a neat little tool. Uh, one of the things I find quite enjoyable on Wikitree um, to try to find out the connections. Um, okay. <clears throat> the other thing, you can actually walk through it and there's lots of things you can click on the descendants right here. Uh, again, a little different um, uh, it's just because of a, an, an extension I have and it makes it a little easier to find some things and it will go through and it's going to see we have the sentence there, um, 1959, 1972, and then we probably going to get into some living, probably past here, we're looking at living descendants. Um, and gives you all the details, though, that he was the father of eight children, grandfather of six um and which is kind of interesting but part of that is a, a couple of his children died young um bruce yumi who i was talking about earlier he on his scotland history tours he also has, has a nice 10 minute um biography which highlights the um robert burns's life <clears throat> so i said one talk a little bit about Scottish um, ancestry in general. Um, when I'm talking Scottish ancestry for myself, it, it's on my mother's side of the family. Um, and I have a lot of Scottish um, on that side of the family. The, my fa They all came from Scotland. Um, they all wound up in Cape Breton. So it's kind of before we, I'm done this evening, I just want to wrap up and I want to give a toast or uh, read a poem that I, I wrote um, this past week um, about my family and my Scottish roots, just to honor the, the Bard of Scotland. I thought I would share this. So to honor the Bard of Scotland, I thought I would share this with you. Um, and this is a, about my relatives and my ancestors that wound up on the rocky shores of Cape Breton. That came from Scotland. <clears throat> and in good Scottish tradition, I'm going to get some scotch. This is actually a really nice scotch for the price of it. Um, I'm just going to have a, a, a little, a little drink. Not much. And I'll put that down there. So this is the poem about my ancestors. 
who wound up in the rocky shores of Cape Breton. Upon the windswept hills of old, my ancestors did tread, leaving Scotland's glens and misty moors for a new land ahead. They crossed the stormy ocean wide with hearts full of hope and pride to seek their fortune in the wild on Cape Breton's far side. With ax in hand and plat on back, they cleared the land and built a home in places such as Malaga Watch and Orangedale. With all their strength and by their own hand, <clears throat> they faced the hardships. <clears throat> Excuse me. They faced the hardships of the new land with courage and with grace. And though they left their native land in their um, hearts, it always had a place. But now I sit back to reflect upon my past and look at the records on my PC. On my PC I feel a connection deep within to those whose history um, lives in me. Some toil in the mines, extracting coal from the depths of the earth. Their hard work fueled the fires of the generations to which they gave birth. While some worked in the fields in the spring, they plant their crops with horse and uh, with horse drawn plows. In the fall, they cut the hay and harvest crops throughout the year. They tend their sheep and milk their cows. I listen to the voice of the wind as it blows through the branches of my family tree. It's my Scottish ancestors calling out, singing a sweet Gaelic melody. For I am of Scottish blood, it's in my DNA. I have the test to prove it. I have the test to prove it's true. And though they left their isle, their legacy lives on in me too. So here's a toast to my ancestors, Campbell's, Anderson's, McKinnon's, McDonald's, Baxter's, and more, who all found a new home across the sea on Cape Breton's wild and rocky shore. Scots on the rocks. So that's sort of what I had for tonight. I, I'm cutting it a little short. I have a, a few things I got to get done. Uh, join me back in two weeks. I will be live again on Wednesday night um, at 7 p.m. Um, Atlantic Standard Time. That's 6 p.m. Eastern. And as you have gone across the bottom, um, on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, I'm doing my annual live fundraiser uh, for Parkinson's Research. It's a 24-hour live stream. Um, I really encourage you to come in and watch. I'm going to have some interesting guests this year, um, just getting them all lined up. Uh, and the, there's a link there and there'll be a link in the description when this video um, goes out for the replay. And so just want to wish you all well and keep searching for your ancestors. <laughs>